this is Jamie with Useful Knowledge and what we want to do today is I'm going to show you how to kill an ant bed without poison. This is very important if you've got ant beds in your garden or around your garden you don't want to use poison and uh, so what we can do is we can use diatomaceous earth. So what diatomaceous earth is is basically fossilized diatoms which that's hard shell algae that's all it is and so we're going to sprinkle this on top of the ant bed and then around the ant bed and what you do when you sprinkle it around the ant bed you keep the foraging ants the worker ants from actually being able to forage because they will not walk over this stuff what this stuff does it rips their exoskeleton and basically they dehydrate they will not walk across it they can't forage for food the queen does not eat and then she dies and then the mound dies so I'm going to show you the application. What you want to do first is you want to basically disturb the mound. And you can see the workers coming out. If you're up north and you don't know, fire ants basically feel like yellow jackets when they sting you. And you can have a hundred, if you're not careful, you can actually have hundreds on your legs before you know it. And uh, they pretty put a pretty bad nasty sting so we're gonna get this one stirred up so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle this over them and they're not gonna like it and then basically you want to put a barrier of it around the ant bed that way the ants can't forage for food what fire ants workers do they actually just ramble around looking for food and then they mark it with their pheromones and they have a trail leading back to it so that everybody else in the mound can come back to it but when they won't forage because they refuse to go across this circle of diatomaceous earth then they won't be able to feed the queen you can tell they're already they're not too happy they basically don't want to walk through this stuff and the neat thing about diatomaceous earth is it's not poisonous. You can actually put this all over your garden. And I'll use it sometimes on my corn for flea beetles. The only thing you don't want to do, you do not want to put it on your flowering crops. Uh, if you have strawberries that are, they've got flowers on them, or uh, tomatoes, you don't want to put them on that because you can't kill your bees. Okay, all right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I want to show you what's already happening with this fire ant mound. The worker bees are refusing to defend the mound. This has been 15 minutes with diatomaceous earth. So in a couple of days, this mound is gonna be dead. And we'll come back and we'll give you some video of, um, of this mound in a couple of days. See, I just disturbed it with my finger and there's one or two workers coming out to see what's going on and that's it. So we hope you gain some useful knowledge, something that you can use around your house to kill fire ant mounds without poison. We use diatomaceous earth we sprinkled some on top, we put some around the mound so that the foraging ants could not forage for food, so they can't feed the queen. Basically, if you remember what we talked about, this stuff rips the exoskeleton out so that the ants dehydrate. They will not walk through it. You can see, you can look at that. We put this on about an hour ago and these workers are refusing to come to the top. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button and if you want more of useful knowledge, please subscribe. Thank you.